Hey guys, this is Jeremy Kofus here from Hacking Away Golf. Um, I'm just about ready to get going here for my first golf lesson with Sue from Change Golf Instructions. Um, I'm really looking forward to going and seeing how she critiques uh, my golf swing and just to find out, you know, what uh, the one or two lessons uh, that she's going to have me work on after the fact. Um, Next you'll see me we'll be at the we'll be at Odana Hills which is indoors where we're going to be practicing because there's snow on the ground here in Madison um, and then hopefully we'll do a recap afterwards where we'll actually uh, talk about the what we learned what, how it was and uh, you know what we need to work on so thanks guys I need to apologize for the video quality of this training session I did not go and set up the camera and properly test it before we started shooting so it is a little out of focus and a little bit blurry so just bear with me uh, thank you We're going to start out with um, some changes to your posture and your grip. Okay. Um, a lot of the slice that you're getting is actually going to be reduced once we get you holding the putt better. Okay. Um, Sounds good. When we tweak your posture, we're going to get a better idea of whether these parts are too long for you or not. Okay. Um, and the better your posture is, then also uh, the more consistency we're going to get with the strike. Now, um, Posture and grip sound fairly kind of straightforward. They're going to probably be the two things that you're going to hate the most. <laughs> okay, so these two are just going to be the hardest. Okay. Um, let's start out with your grip. So um, just start out, hold your left hand just flat out, fingers out. And then I want you to put your left hand behind the grip of the club. And I want you to notice that my hand is running perpendicular to the shaft, okay? So it's not angled this way, it's perpendicular. Okay, I'm gonna form a cradle with my fingers, and the club is gonna sit in that cradle. And then this part of my hand, this pad of my hand, is gonna wrap over and sit on top of the grip, okay? So I really have a sense that I'm um, supporting the club between that pad and that little finger, okay? okay? Now, just uh, open your left hand out, and you probably notice with your gloves that you wear them out right in here, mm -hmm. and that's always a telltale sign that the club is sitting that way. Okay. Okay. So when you improve your grip, you're going to reduce your slice, and your gloves are going to last a little bit longer. Which is okay. Good. Okay. I'm going to put your hand on the okay. there because it's easier, and I've got a little video also that I'm going to send to you. So um, that might be a bit of a stretch. Then yep. let the club sit in your fingers, okay. and now I'm wrapping that club, I'm sorry, the, the pad of your hand up and on top of the club that way, okay? okay? Now when you point the club approximately towards the center of your body, then you should be able to see this knuckle and this knuckle, those two knuckles without really straining. Now my bet is you can, yeah. but we need to get it a little bit more in the fingers and wrap it over even a little bit more. Yeah, I can see that now. Yeah. Okay, so if you can see two knuckles, that's an indication that your hand is in a neutral position. Okay. So right from the beginning when you were holding, then you probably couldn't see any right, yeah. knuckles yep. there. So by getting the plug in your fingers, wrapping that pad over, you're gonna notice that that's I'm feeling like, a lot more like strain right in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so you know, hopefully that would be just holding it differently. You do need to just make sure that you're not, you want to be gripping so that you control the club. But um, if you're gripping too hard and then straighten those muscles, then you, you don't get any nice in there. Good, now put your right hand on. We care way less about your right hand. Okay, so your right hand's pretty good, so we're not gonna mess with that. Okay. Um, just hit a couple of shots. And I'm going to get you to take your hands off the club between shots.
in a in a little while, but let's move on to your posture. Okay. Um, although both of these changes are going to feel really hard, they're at least like at the start of your swing, so um, you know you can try and take care of them when you start swinging. Um, all right, we're going to test your flexibility a little bit here. Can you put this club behind your shoulders? Okay, good. All right, I'm going to just turn this way so you can see my angles a little better. Okay. So stand in straight up, leg straight, back straight. Keeping the back straight, just tilt forwards from your hips. Okay, so you should feel a little bit of a pull on your hamstrings. Mm -hmm. And then just flex your knees, not quite that much, only a few little legs. And then just rock forward, make sure the weight's kind of towards the balls of your feet. Okay, hold it right there. And just check that. Good. Good. All right, that's better. Now, as much as you can, keep your body kind of where it is. Bring the club back over your head and then just let your arms hang straight down from your shoulders. Really good. Now take your grip. begin with if you, you know, it's not a bad idea to have a procedure and do a little thinking. Okay, stand up straight. Imagine that you've got a club behind your shoulders, tilt in from the hips, slight flex of your knees, get the weight in the correct place, tilt from your hips even more. Good. Now keep your shoulders back. Yep. Excellent. Really good. That's good.
the grip, regardless of which club you have, is obviously going to be the same. Um, the posture isn't, okay. even though the principles are still going to be the same. So this is your nine iron. This is your four hydrate. Um, obviously, they're very different. Yeah. Yes. And so I want you to imagine that your pivot point is still here. Okay. So with the nine iron, then that posture is going to feel a little bit more extreme and more exaggerated. Yep. And with the longer club, this is still your pivot point, but because the club is longer, you're going to be a little bit more upright. Okay. okay. And the reason that um, you know, this is your hinge point is that by changing the posture, then that changes the plane that the club is going to swim around. So for okay. the shorter clubs, in order to get down to the ball, we need slightly more up and down motion in the swing. And so by standing with your posture over more, that helps give you that. Okay. And then the more upright you are, then you get more of a, a roundward swing. So obviously your driver is the longest, and that's how you're going to be um, able to get more turn on that. All right. So in this instance, these shorter clubs are actually probably going to feel hardest. Get So unfortunately at this point was where my battery ran out so I was unable to film the rest of the training session. Okay, so I just got back from my first golf lesson with Sue and it was really informative. One is with my grip. I was gripping it like this, so it was coming up here which is really doing it. So instead of gripping it like just across the fingers, I was going from the pointer finger up my palm and stuff. So that's a big thing I need to work on that uh, it's an easy fix. And the other thing was my stance. Um, the way, and she showed some pictures to me of this, but when I first started out, the first couple swings, and you won't really be able to see it too well in the video because um, it sort of crops off the top of it. So I need to work on that. But I was sort of like, roll in my my you know my back was sort of hunched over so it was sort of rounded so one of the big things we worked on was you know straightening out the back leaning you know leaning over at the hips and then keeping the shoulders back um, and I think you'll be able to see a little bit about that but really those are the two main things that um, I have to take away from this first learning experience and when I go to the practice range and stuff is getting that strong grip so having to go across my fingers wrapping my hand around so I can at least see the two knuckles on my hand which I was not able to do with my normal grip I wasn't basically seeing any of my knuckles so I had a very weak grip which is definitely helping contribute to my slice and then the other one was the basic posture that I had throughout the whole basically my whole career has been completely wrong because my back's been arched and stuff like that so I think working on those two things and from this is a huge takeaway. So I'll go to the range, work on those things, and then schedule my next session with Sue. But it was very informative, very helpful. 
Um, and I look forward to the next one.